الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد one of the beautiful supplications that the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam instructed us to make that is good to do during the evening and in the morning is a beautiful supplication which as most supplications do begin by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and imploring him and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his great favors upon us and let's look at this dua of the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam which illustrates for us those aspects and those dhikr, those reminders and remembrance of Allah, the Lord of the heavens and earth, subhanahu wa ta'ala. The, the dhikr goes as follow, and we also have to remember, as the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, a dua hu ibadah, as collected in uh, Tirmidhi, that supplication is worship, so that we should strive our best to learn as many supplications mentioned in the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because the dua is a way of getting our needs met, having our needs fulfilled by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, uh, our provisions, uh, seeking forgiveness and seeking health and worldly benefit as well as, as Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala mentions in the Quran, رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنًا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنًا وَقِينَ ذَابَ النَّارِ O Allah, O our Lord, give us good in this life as well as the hereafter. And all of us want good in this life as well as the hereafter. And the supplication is as follows. اللهم أعفاني في بدني اللهم أعفاني في سمعي اللهم أعفاني في بصري لا إله إلا أنت اللهم إني أعوذ بك من الكفر والفقر وأعوذ بك من عذاب القبر لا إله إلا أنت and this should be said three times and so in this supplication it begins by imploring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala O oh Allah cure me in my, my body O oh Allah, cure me in my hearing, or protect me in my hearing, or preserve me in my hearing. Make it, make it healthy. O oh Allah, make healthy for me my sight. La ilaha illa ant. There is no God worthy of worship except you. O oh Allah, verily I seek refuge in you from disbelief and poverty and I seek refuge in you from the punishment of the grave there is no God worthy of worship except you in this supplication we see that it begins by imploring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Lord of the heavens and earth and asking him for for health and asking him for health in the body and specifically then the Hearing and the sight. And ayyuhal habba all of our senses we need or assist us in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all of our senses can also at the same time be directed to disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because we use our sight to see good things or to look at evil things and bad. And we use our hearing to listen to good or to listen to evil. And all of those things that the Prophet ﷺ said, they affect the heart. And that's why the Prophet ﷺ said, إِنَّ فِي جِزِدْ مُضْغَةً إِذَا صَلَحَ صَلَحَ جِزِدَ كُلُّ وَإِذَا فَسَدَ فَسَدَ جِزِدَ كُلُّ أَلَا وَهِيَ قَلْبُ That verily in the body is a morsel of flesh, that if it is healthy, then the whole... Uh, body is healthy. If it is sick, then the whole body is sick. Verily, it's the heart. And so, ayyullah habba, the way in which we affect the heart, either with good or bad, is through our senses, through uh, our, our body, through our hearing and our sight, what we put into ourselves. Are we reading the Quran with our sight, or are we looking at 
uh, music videos and, and films and so forth. Then in the supplication, ask, after asking for the health in those body parts, it, it uh, then begins with praise of Allah, affirming Tawheed, La ilaha illa ant, there is no God worthy of worship except you, illa ant, except Allah, except you, Allah. And then seeking refuge in Allah, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-kufri, seeking refuge in Allah from kufr, because part of the sweetness of Iman and faith is that you hate to go to disbelief, especially for the one who's tasted disbelief and then tasted Iman, they hate more than anything to go back to disbelief. This is meaning that they've tasted the sweetness of Iman. And that's mentioned in the authentic hadith of the Prophet Ali Salatu Wasalam. Wal Fakr. And Fakr Ayyul Habba meaning poverty. Seeking refuge in Allah from poverty because Allah is Ar Razak. He provides for us. He's the one who sustains us. He's the one who gives us uh, clothing. He gives us wealth. He gives us health. He gives us uh, our free time to use for the worship of Him. I have not created mankind and, and jinn except for the purpose of worshiping. You mean we should use our wealth and use our health and use our body to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek His pleasure. And then the supplication goes, وَعَوْضُ بِكَ مِنَ عَذَابِ الْقَبْرِ And we seek refuge in you, Allah, from the punishment of the grave. And this affirms for us that, yes, ayu al habba, we believe as Muslims in, in the hereafter, the day of judgment, and we believe that either after this life, if you die, that there's a life in the grave. It's called al-barzaq. And al-barzaq, al ayu al habba, can either be a time of comfort and peacefulness or a time of great punishment and torment. So it depends how you lived your life in this life. Because this life, uh, a dunya, a dunya, mahal al amal, wal akhira dar al jaza, a dunya, dar al amal, wal akhira dar al jaza. That the dunya, this worldly life, is the time for deeds, of good, doing good deeds, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, being righteous to one's parents, avoiding shirk, proclaiming tawheed, establishing tawheed, preaching tawheed, giving charity, smiling, being kind and gentle to one another, fasting for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, making the hajj. This is what we do in this life. And ayu al habba in the hereafter, we reap the reward. So if you lived a, a, a poor, poor life, meaning you didn't do many deeds, you were muflis in this life, you only did wicked sins, you backbited, you stole from this one, you oppressed this person, you took the rights of this person, then you'll be muflis or bankrupt in the hereafter. And that can be one of the causes for you to be punished in the grave. And then the supplication ends, La ilaha illa ant that there is no God worthy except you, that you're affirming again Tawheed. You've affirmed it already in the beginning or in the middle of the supplication. And then it ended also with that, showing us the importance of Tawheed and that Dua is Ibadah, supplication is Ibadah, and all Ibadah goes to Allah, and that's Tawheed. That's establishing the oneness of Allah. La ilaha illa ant. Subhanaka, inni kuntu min al-dhalimeen. There is no God worthy of worship except you, O Allah. And verily, I was one of the wicked transgressors. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many transgressions. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with al nafia wa rizqan tayyibah, wa amal al And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to practice these supplications that we learn in these various ways we learn on how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of the heavens and earth. And may Allah accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.